deliverance. We also focus on ministering deliverance, restoration, and renewal to a person's total being. We have a physical body, a spirit man, and a soul. All three of these areas can have demonic and or occult and witchcraft attacks on and in them. The body. The body can be attacked with things like sickness, such as cancer, diabetes, autoimmune disease, incurable diseases, heart disease, pain, fatigue, etc. The spirit man. Our spirit can go through so much torment by demonic spirits. Our spirit can be tortured, torn, ripped, caged, chained, and attacked in so many ways. The soul. Our soul can experience deep wounds of pain, unforgiveness, bitterness, hurt, anger, rage, rejection, fear, and so on. If these things are never dealt with, then a person can live a life of torment while still being born again. These deep emotional wounds and trauma are stored in the soul. The mind. The mind or the brain is a place that also needs intensive deliverance from mindsets of fear, doubt, unbelief, unforgiveness, and so on. The mind can be tormented by demonic spirits, controlled by demonic controlling systems, veiled, blocked, entangled, and so much more. The enemy uses so many spiritual strategies to keep the human race in bondage. It's shocking. The Lord reveals new things to us weekly. The Lord is a great partner to have in ministry because he is the only one who can remove these things from us in the spiritual realm. The only reason why we are able to minister to people who are suffering from demonic attacks is because God ministers with us every step of the way. There are other areas that need deliverance. This information was given to Apostle Michelle by the Lord, and they include the bones. Demonic spirits can live in the bones. The blood. Demonic spirits can live in the blood. The organs. Demonic spirits can attack our organs. They remove different parts of the organs, which causes them not to work properly. The brain. Demonic spirits can remove parts of our brain and attack the brain. The DNA. They can remove the DNA and replace it with demonic DNA. And this removes godly emotions from us and replaces them with demonic emotions. The eyes. Demonic spirits can remove certain parts of the eye. This will create an inability to see in the natural and or in the spiritual. The ears. Demonic spirits can remove parts of the ear. This will create an inability to hear in the natural and or in the spiritual. The mouth. Demonic spirits can cause our mouths to be perverted and defiled and it will need to be cleansed. The hands. Demonic spirits can ruin our hands so that everything we touch is ruined. The feet. Demonic spirits can curse our feet so that everything we walk on is cursed. The finances. Demonic spirits can put locks, hindrances, cages, and blocks on our finances. Hindrances stop or prevent financial blessings and financial prosperity. Marriages. Demonic spirits can torment and destroy marriages, changing the focus of couples to hate each other 
and causing envy, strife, pain, hurt, unforgiveness, jealousy, anger, revenge, lust, and so on. Relationships. Demonic spirits destroy relationships by causing strife, envy, and fear. Destiny. Demonic spirits destroy our destiny by turning us against God through unforgiveness, fear, hurt. So many spirits are used to turn us from the Lord. Family. Demonic spirits destroy families by causing strife, division, fear, jealousy, and envy among the family members. These things need to be removed so the person can then be restored. And that is what this ministry does for God's people.